Hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to Therapeutic Tuesday. I am Movement Mike Nimchek, and today I wanted to go over a mobilization or stretching-based exercise that helps bring more mobility, more range of motion in your thoracic spine or the upper part of your back. All right, so I have my foam roller here, a long one, right? And I will be using this as an accessory to this exercise. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is get the foam roller pinned in between the feet here, so the arches of the feet, and then in between the knees. So you're squeezing it with the knees and the feet. The second thing you want to do is bring your knees above your waist. So here's my hips, my waist, and here's the knee. It's farther up towards my chest. And the reason you want to do this is so that when you do the exercise, you are keeping it the, the movement in your upper back instead of in the lower back, okay? So I'm set up here. I have my hands together like alligator arms, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up and I, my gaze is following this hand all the way around, going as far back as you can. If, if this hand can touch the floor, fantastic. If it can't, don't worry about it. As you breathe out, you're gonna bring that arm back around, back to the starting position. One thing to keep in mind is to keep this knee hugging this roller and keeping this movement in the upper back, really trying to open up the chest once you get this full breath into the nose, opening up, arms stretched out wide, and exhale, come back together. So this is a really good way to kind of just ease yourself into your warm up, getting yourself kind of woken up and ready to, you know, do your workout. And I would do this for about a minute and then go ahead and switch sides. So I'll just go ahead and do the other, turn the other way so you can see what happens on the other side, okay? So I'm pulling in my knees here. You can even pause out here and bring it back. So there you have it. The T-spine alligator exercise as part of your warm-up. Now the only thing to really think about with this besides keeping that knee down from the top, pinching the roller, is if you want to get a lot out of it and really become more in tune with the body, which is kind of the idea, right, when you're working out, is to kind of feel, you know, be more in tune with your body, to be healthier, and from my personal belief and perspective, to be healthier means to be more in tune with your body, to pay more attention to what's going on in your body. So to simplify that, and what I'm getting at here, is just have an awareness of your core, keeping that belly button pulled in slightly. Right? I know I talk about it all the time, but it's true. You gotta support that lower part of your spine, that low back, so that you don't dump your energy there, so that the stretch or mobility or whatever it is that you're doing, the weight you have possibly overhead when you're exercising, that, that doesn't get dumped into your low back, which is a vulnerable sport, uh, part of your body, as well as you know the, the trapezius muscles here. They tend to take a lot of, um, they tend to pick up a lot of the slack when it comes to pulling exercises or like planks. People get really tired and they're like, uh, no, keep those suckers down. But that's for a whole nother discussion. I'm done with this for today. I hope that you have enjoyed this exercise demonstration explanation on this beautiful Therapeutic Tuesday. 
I look forward to seeing you all again on the next episode. Until then, keep going and keep growing. Peace.